Uh, we're, we're out here. This is the field where the magic happens. Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Uh, it's another nah, episode of Benning Bites. Bites. Appreciate you. Uh, however you consume us, whether it's just the regular old radio dial, which is always good on AM 590 or ESPN Tri-Cities, Facebook, YouTube. However, man, we appreciate you being a part of what we do. Uh, it's a good thing, Mike. There is no us without you. That's not just lip service. We truly, truly mean it. And a lot of you fine folks are happy that the bites are back. So now I just have to be responsible and hold up my end of it. Good luck to us. Actually, best wishes because I don't believe in luck. But appreciate uh, all the support from the show, the the digital numbers, man. They, it is they're unbelievable. Uh, so we we appreciate it. Um, give my main man at Ravi Lula a follow. Um, we appreciate the interaction. You can always give us a buzz on the show, 888-638-4876, and ask questions. Because the whole point of this segment is, of Benning Bites, is it's an extension of the show, and uh, a, a snippet, if you will. What would you ask me? What would we talk about? What would you want me to talk about if you stopped me at a grocery store or a gas station or Probably a, a meat market because that's why I like to spend a lot of my time finding good butchered products. But uh, I say all that to say, you know, I got a chance to to go down to Lincoln uh, yesterday. Uh, actually, my son had to be there and didn't want to drive. So we can talk about my parenting protocol later. But uh, a really, really cool um, environment. You know, the facility is is top shelf. A lot of things that... Um, you could see very intentional thought process, whether it was the recovery, the recovery center, the weight room setup, uh, the design and that makes it easy to facilitate keeping folks in, in, in one general area. And, and basically uh, continuing the theme of making Nebraska as a whole a place where student athletes want to be and maybe more importantly, don't want to leave. Right. Because sometimes that isn't. Those aren't the same things, especially in the world of the transfer portal and NIL. Uh, amazing facility and practice. Um, just a fantastic environment. It's weird. You know, if I was going to do like a book or a study of, of seeing all the varying degrees of Nebraska football over the last 20 years, and, you know, one of the chapters was immediate feel uh, in a practice environment. Uh, for me yesterday, it would be intense. Like you could feel, you could feel a sense of urgency that I felt like, whether it was birth from the competitiveness, maybe it was people's demeanor, maybe it was the movement. Um, it, it was very intense, and I felt like the the cool thing about it was there was this blend of, um, it's not necessarily good natured, but people are very um, approachable. Uh, or, or and, and even more so authentic, right? It's, hey, this is how it goes. This is the standard. Feel free to be a part of it. Or it was the same message that would be conveyed to players. Hey, this is the standard. This is what we're doing. Feel free to be part of it. So the ownership aspect that is, is kind of, um, I guess, prompted, but goes along with and fits with how you do business or how they're going to do business and what the standard is, is a really cool blend. You can own being a part of the greater good, right? It's, it's, it's a, it's a very cool dynamic and, you know, just a, a, a culture in which is going to allow people to thrive if you can become secure with who you are. And, and it's a lot like, you know, going down to the, to the coaches clinic here shortly, you know, every facet of the staff is an extension of what they want in the program. And by that, I mean something, it's not small, it's actually huge, but behind the scenes, like the coaching clinic where they didn't close registration until a day before the clinic, they are at huge numbers could have close to, 900 to 1,000 coaches. And that is very stressful for the support staff behind the scenes actually having to pull off the coaches clinic, right? The coaches get to show up and present. 
right? They have their sections. Hey, where do I need to be? 130, we're doing, you know, play action. 230, we'll go over goal line defense. They're, they're those things. So, but the, the guts of it, the where to be, what time to be, the organization of the coaches, the name, all of that stuff takes real boots on the ground. And I'm sure it's very stressful when you keep the registration open to the last minute and you get monster numbers, right? Obviously, Bill Belichick is a speaker, but there are lots of things about Nebraska staff that I think is very appealing that coaches want to gravitate towards. Hey, how does he set the culture so quickly in his first year? Hey, why is he known for rebuilding and reshaping programs? Hey, what is it about this defense that it allowed, that it allowed them to play at a, at a respectable level from a year ago? All those things that coaches want to know about. So when you combine that with the ability to pull in a guy like Bill Belichick, that commands immediate respect, but it does stress your support staff. And I know what he would say to the support staff. They'd say, hey, coach, what, you know, we need to get our arms around the numbers and what coach rule and uh, is going to say is, hey, you guys figure it out, right? We need to make this work. We don't want to tell anybody. No, we're all encompassing. We're all about development. Figure it out. And it's just like, it, nothing says more about his personality than kind of that philosophy. Hey, we have different kinds of players. Hey, this is what we're inheriting. Hey, this is the new plan and the layout for recruiting. Oh, this is our new practice schedule. We used to, uh, hey, don't want to hear about what you can't do. Figure it out. These are the parameters in which we're going to work under to be a part of this staff. I've done the best that I could do to identify the, the talent that may fit, but it's up to you. Figure it out. It's not always going to be rainbows and butterflies. You have got to be able to adjust on the fly. Because I think for Coach Rule and this staff, it's a lot like kind of this seemingly nonlinear point that I'm making about the camp. And it is, we're here to do a job. There are going to be things along the job, whatever it is your role is, that may not be according to script. You cannot blink. Remember what our principles are and who are we as an entity. Apply those things and make it work. We clear? Oh, got it, coach. And I think all of that promotes a, a culture in which it's, it, it, I call it the don't blink culture, where if you have an environment that you function in and that you're asked to function in, in which you may have to, to hit a curveball and you don't know it's coming, over time, you learn to just be able to adjust to whatever the pitching sequence is. Now, it's extremely difficult to hit a baseball. We know that. And it is equally as difficult to not be able to script out the variables known as life. And I think the better, and he feels like, the better you get to adapting and to just staying the course to keep showing up as you will, the better off you're going to be. From top to bottom, you can see it. There is a singular purpose, not just a focus, because that's, that's good. But when all the mannerisms and the plan are geared towards that purpose, you go from a word like purpose to a lifestyle. That's what I think this football team is after. It's another episode of Benning Bites. <laughs>